in the bench. Um, and then when it's your turn to be prayed for, you can come forward. We'll ask you what you want to be prayed for. It can be anything from your achy back to your 30-year-old spiritual wound. Then we will anoint you with the sign of a cross on your forehead. And as we do that, we'll, we will say, Sarah, I anoint you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then we will pray for whatever it is that you have asked us to pray for. If you don't want it on the forehead, we can also do it on the back of your hand. But remember, there's nothing magical about the oil. It is a physical symbol and reminder of the very real healing that God gives to us. I'm not going to promise instant success, but I will promise you that by opening yourself to God's healing, you are opening your life for God to work in some new and spectacular ways. We also know that sometimes healing is painful. There's sometimes things in there that need to be taken away, and that can hurt. But I promise you that any pain that comes along with it is only because that is the path that and what God needs to do to bring you to greater fulfillment and joy and wholeness in Him. It will always bring us to greater fruit in our spiritual life. Lord, we thank you so much that you have exposed these lies of the devil to us. We thank you so much that not only have you helped us to see what is truly going on, but you have provided the answer for each and every one of these lies and the wounds that they cause. Jesus, you are our true healer. And you took our sin and our guilt and our shame when you went to the cross. And you bore all of these things in your body so that we could be forgiven and free and healed. Lord, I pray that your healing would touch each one. Each one of us here today, each one of us who is a part of this congregation. And Lord, for those who feel uh, the desire to receive prayer and anointing today, I, I just ask that you um, would just make that clear to them and give them boldness and strength to, to reach out for that. It can be hard sometimes, God, to admit that we have a need. But Lord, I pray that you would help us to be humble and to reach out to you so that you can give us the healing and strength and the protection that you offer to us. God, we know that the devil is a good liar, but we know that you are an even greater and stronger and mightier God. And we thank you so much for that. And we pray these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
Well, again, as we close, if you feel led to come up for prayer, I invite you to do that. If you want to go out uh, and have visit uh, fellowship out there, I invite you to do that. If you just want to sit here in the sanctuary and just reflect more on God's infinite grace, you're welcome to do that. And please stand to receive the benediction this morning. We come to God because he loves us, and he knows us more deeply than we know ourselves. God desires for us to be healed and whole, free from the pain and the weight of the devil's lies. May we open ourselves to receive God's healing at the point of our deepest need, and may we share Christ with others out of a renewed spirit. You are dismissed and go in peace.